monument for the beloved, the Taj Mahal. Here in Agra, northern India, stands the Taj Mahal with its towers rising toward heaven. Completed in 1654, its beauty was reputed to exceed that of paradise. Islamic style is embodied in the Taj Mahal. Building up stones symmetrically to construct beautiful stone arches is an amazing feat of architecture. The finest builders and artists worked to build the mausoleum to make it the pride of the Mughal Empire. The emperor at the height of the empire was Shah Jahan. To whom did he dedicate this mausoleum? A coffin lies at the stretch of the center line of the mausoleum, a stone coffin of his wife. The Empress's coffin was decorated with jasper and jade and is protected by the finely carved open work of marble fencing. The Emperor's deep love and affection for the Empress is expressed in these works. A grand garden stretches before the mausoleum complex with lush greenery and abundant water. For the Muslim people of the desert, they are symbols of heaven. Star patterns adorn the green lawns. The patterns can also be found on the flagstone walkways. Stars are a symbol of heaven in Islamic culture. By scattering star patterns around the complex, the emperor tried to guide his beloved wife to heaven. Shah Jahan was so despaired at the loss of the empress that his beard turned gray. In the later years of his life, he was put under house arrest by his third son in the castle across the lake. Memories of his wife while gazing at the mausoleum was the only consolation he could find. His body was buried next to his wife, Mumtaz Mahal, by the sixth emperor. The Mughal Empire disintegrated in the 18th century, but the monument dedicated to his beloved wife lives on as world heritage. <laughs>